Hey, I believe everybody, this is Sports News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the next NHL trade recap video. As we have Boris Kachuk, Taylor Radish, and Picks go to the Chicago Blackhawks so that the Tampa Bay Lightning can get for their Stanley Cup run. Brandon Hagel, who's having an amazing breakout season with the Hawks this year, plus also received two fourth round picks, probably due to the fact they threw in Kachuk. And Radish, who are two former great OHL level goal scorers that both have found some scoring with the Syracuse Crunch this far, and will obviously get much more of an opportunity where they were not really able to find that opportunity with um, within the organization when it was in Tampa Bay, just due to the obviously great elite depth in that forward court. And Brandon Hagel's also a young 23 year old that Frank Cervalli compared this move to being this year's version of the Goudreaux or the Coleman. I think it's even better than that because. He's a young 23-year-old kid that hasn't even hit his prime yet, is having his breakout season this year, Brandon Hagel is, and a guy that now goes to a team that has that much star power, that much guys to set him up, like the Tampa Bay Lightning. I mean, what could be better for this kid's career to just continue to take off and flourish now as time goes on? And then I think on the flip side, obviously for Chicago, they want to keep rebuilding their team. So getting a 2023 first in a deep as hell drift and a 2024 first where there's already a lot of kids that are 16, 15, 17 now that look pretty good for that draft. Um, and then getting Kachuk and uh, also Taylor Radish are great moves for a Blackhawks franchise as well because you want to bring in, you bring in two NHL-ready players. One of those guys could even turn into a guy like Hagel for you that has a really good breakout season last year and starts scoring more in bunches in a given opportunity because they both scored very well at different levels, OHL and in different seasons in the AHL this far in their careers. It's just about putting them on the right line, getting the right spots and giving them the right opportunities when it comes to Radish and Kachuk. So I think this is one of those rare trades that really works out well for both sides because yes, Tampa gave up a lot, but they got two fourths back. Um, and Tampa's obviously been very solid at drafting in the middle rounds. So that obviously helps to supplant the fact that they gave up two first and they gave up Kachuk and Radish. Um, which <clears throat> is really good for the Blackhawks because they got two good young players in one twenty-four and one that is a uh, twenty-two. So it's going to be interesting to see how the Blackhawks are able to make Kachuk and Radish fit into their system because they already were having obviously Brandon Hagel flourish and emerge this year. So that's why I think those two are going to fit very nicely into Chicago as they start to develop and rebuild that team back to being the mighty Blackhawks they once were. So great trade for both teams. I would have to honestly give this an A on both sides. Great trade for both teams. This has been a recap of Brandon Hagel and two-fourths coming to the Tampa Bay Lightning as Chicago get two first-round picks, 2023 and 2024, plus Boris Kachuk and Taylor Radish. Peace out, everybody. Please continue to subscribe down below. Up above them, the easy to use widget to keep us growing to 215 by the end of March. Really appreciate your love and support this far. Have a great day, everyone.